Now today's video deals with removal of cylinder liners in a diesel engine. Now unfortunately every time I set money aside my budget for a good rebuild of this something comes up. So I'm trying to save a few bucks and remove the liners myself. Now on YouTube you'll notice that there are videos showing a tool to use to remove it. It's a very basic tool. Quite effective. But for some reason this motor here is not being very cooperative. So I've tried using hydraulic pressure to uh, push the cylinders out. That was quite disastrous. I ended up uh, with a nice indent in my arm when the piece I was using to press against let go and some of the metal that I was using slammed into my arm. So what I'm doing now is because the liners are cast they're somewhat brittle. So I've taken a screwdriver and a pair of vice grips because I've hit my thumb too many times. And what I've done with the screwdriver is I've put well, kind of hard to see but I've sharpened it to a very good point. Now to ensure that I don't scratch the block itself what I've done is the edges here on the side I've ground those round so there's less stuff to well to gouge the cylinder block that I do want to keep the inner portion of the sleeve. So what I've been doing is I've been hitting away at it and hitting away at it and hitting away at it and I'm coming up with a lot of pieces and it actually is working if I can find yeah, here we are the liner is coming apart in fairly big chunks my cylinder walls that I do want to keep are getting a little bit scratched but it's nothing major I'm not creating any massive nicks or anything or anything that won't be able to be repaired so what I'm gonna do is I'll show you the process that I'm going through right now and hopefully you'll see and that is the plate that I actually made to fit inside the block to push against the line with the hydraulic jack I had 5,000 pounds pressure against it when it let go it didn't feel too funny but uh, we're gonna try and give you an angle where you can see what I'm doing and hopefully let's see. Uh, I guess that'll have to do so what I'm doing is the beveled edges are going against the wall actually this side's not beveled right now okay beveled edges will go against the wall and what I'll do is I'll just keep tapping at it and pieces are going to break off they're going to fly all over the place so you might want to be careful it can be quite dangerous because even though it is cast and brittle it's still got some spring tension to it and it will want to fly apart into fairly big chunks like that one so once I've got enough of it chipped out, I try and keep going down, break it further and further down, which is working. I just got to keep taking out a few pieces on the side to help relieve stress. And it is working. Every once in a while I get a nice I just chunk to come out with it. And I'm going to show you that the liner does give some. Now, as you can see, the screwdriver is jammed in there. The liner is moving away from the wall of the block itself. 
so it is effective but you do have to be careful because you will get sun gouging if you're not I've got like I said I've got sun gouging nothing too serious um, a little clean up on it shouldn't take any burrs out and when the new sleeve is ready to go in it'll, it'll get pushed but unfortunately I've got to get about that much of the block machined out because the new sleeve has a lip on it to keep it from sliding all the way down and to give it more pressure against the head to keep it in line. When I bring it into the machine shop to get machined I'll see if I can take some video of it and then you'll have a reference of what goes into putting a liner in. That's all for today.